in 2020, Corvallis will be rich in the arts and recreational opportunities, celebrating the talents and culture of the people who live there. Um, the uh, entire section of page four deals with this topic, and I'm told from those, I don't know if anyone in the audience was part of that process, um, but I'm told that this was the first area that consensus was reached. Everybody values the arts. So happiness, obviously, quality of life, simple, it's obvious. Uh, liberty is freedom of expression, freedom of, of speech, the, open, uh, the necessity of open, unhindered, un unobstructed expression, and then life, which is arguably a legitimate, phys the physical health effect of the arts in our lives. So we can elaborate on all three of those points. Uh, do, argue the legitimacy or, or the, the actual necessity and quantity of each of these in our lives, but let's not take uh, time at this moment and just assume with me that the arts have a legitimate impact, impact on our physical health. I'm the executive director of the Art Center. Uh, I moved to Corvallis just about two years ago uh, from Oakland, California uh, to take on the Art Center after uh, Sarah Swanberg retired. Uh, and it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know this community and talking with people about what art means to them in this community. And I think to, to play off of what Brenda said earlier, um, walking around talking to people on the street, in the gallery, uh, at public events, I don't have to convince anybody that art is important. Uh, what I have to convince people of often is or the discussion we have to have is, is it priority? And I think that's a big difference. I don't think anybody, I've never met anybody who's like, oh yeah, art needs that. But I do think that there's a valid question of to say that when we're in tough economic times and we don't have enough money to do what we want to do, it, some people would say that it makes sense that the arts are almost by definition a luxury. There's something that we don't need. It's not a life or death situation. And so when we're in trouble, these are the things that we should cut first. It's an easy first cut. I think that's a valid position. And I think that what I've been trying to work on in this last year is talking about um, a, kind of a counter to that. Of to say, letting other people know why people like myself, like Brenda, like Joel, <coughs> might have a different point of view.